the screen is yours. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mehdi and I'm so happy to be here. Uh, in this uh, webinar, we are talking about uh, protecting train model from uh, copyright uh, infringement and how we can uh, watermark a textual deep neural networks. Uh, OK, uh, in this uh, presentation, uh, first I will uh, talk about uh, introduction and problem statement. Then I will uh, describe the, pro uh, the proposed method. After that, the experimental results will be shown. And uh, finally, I will finish the webinar by presenting conclusion and future works. Uh, let us start with uh, introduction. Uh, deep neural networks have obtained state-of-the-art results in many uh, machine learning domain from uh, NLP to image and text classification. A sophisticated and powerful hardware, large amount of uh, label data, and human expertise uh, help DNN to have a such excellent result. So we can consider uh, trained deep neural networks as an uh, intellectual property. Uh, Fine-tuning is an effective technique to speed up the training uh, phase of DNN models, and also it's helpful to uh, overcome small uh, data set size. But an adversary can utilize it as a tool for illegal redistribution. So it's needed, uh, it's needed to protect the trained uh, deep neural networks from such attacks. Uh, okay, and digital uh, watermarking is a signal or a hidden information which embed into uh, digital media such as an image, audio, and video to preserve security, data authentication, and copyright protection. Uh, recently, uh, many approaches are uh, published to watermark DNNs in order to preserve trained data, uh, DNN models from copyright infringement. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, Almost all methods and uh, strategy proposed for watermarking uh, deep neural networks are focused and evaluated on an image domain. Uh, because adding noise to an image is very straightforward and also the number of pre-trained model in uh, an image processing domain is very high and huge. Uh, so protecting a, DN, uh, a trained DNN model uh, has uh, attracted many researchers' attention during recent years. Uh, in the literature, all methods that have uh, watermarked deep neural networks can be categorized into the three main classes. Uh, watermarking training data, watermarking neural networks parameter, and uh, also watermarking train models output. Uh, so, deep neural networks significantly improve the performance of all text processing tests. Uh, so, deep neural networks trained model in uh, text processing area are worthy properly. Hence, protecting these uh, trained model is a critical as image trained model. So, developing a method to protect these model is essential. But, whether marking a textual uh, model is not as straightforward as an image uh, one. Uh, each watermark uh, must has a fidelity, efficiency, security, reliability, and robustness. Uh, fidelity means uh, uh, accuracy of the target uh, neural networks shall not be degraded after embedding a watermark. Efficiency states uh, communication and computational overhead of a watermark embedding and extracting shall, uh, shall be negligible. Uh, and uh, security means the watermark uh, shall be secure against brute force attacks. Uh, reliability means uh, watermarking extraction shall yield minimal uh, false negative, and uh, robustness states that the embedded watermark shall be resilient against model modification. Uh, until now, we explained the importance of a uh, deep neural network, watermarking, and the problem statement. Now we want to present the proposed method. Uh, our method has a three main uh, phases, watermark generation, watermark embedding, and watermark verification. Uh, in these three phases, we generate some watermark key sample and insert watermark key into the deep neural networks model. At the end, uh, we verify the ownership of a remote model. In the following slide, we will 
explain each of phases precisely. Uh, okay. Uh, so, all right, uh, for watermarking generation, we need to select some samples. So we randomly select one over n percent of each class and remove them from training data. And then we create a random peer-to-peer -peer relationship between two samples. After that, we, extra uh, we extract uh, K words uh, from each document and exchange them. Finally, we replace their labels to uh, the main issue in this uh, algorithm is uh, how to extract words from a document. Uh, uh, all right, two uh, response to this issue, we use a TFIDF score to extract words from a document. Uh, as you may, you may know, TFIDF is a numerical statistic designed to rank important words in a document based on their frequency. Uh, for calculating uh, TFIDF, uh, first we normalize characters of a data set, then we remove a star words from them. After that, we count the frequency of each uh, words. Uh, for, for selecting words, uh, we, we have two strategy. First, choosing word with a high TFIDF score which are the most important words in the document, and second, uh, selecting words with the low TFIDF score, which are the least uh, important words in the document. So in this slide, we present an example to clarify our algorithm. Uh, let's say we have a data set with the two classes, one and two. First, we calculate the document frequency of each word in the uh, corpus. Uh, then we randomly select uh, n document from each, class, uh, from each class. After a normalization and star word removal, we calculate TFIDF score of all terms in selected documents. Then we randomly select a document from each classes. Finally, we exchange their words and labels. Uh, so, uh, embedding a watermark into a deep neural network has been applied in three situations. First, inserting in the uh, training data, in training step. Second, in the uh, fine tuning. And third, in a distillation uh, step. In our method, uh, we add the watermark data into the deep neural networks in a training step. So to embed the calculated watermark into a deep neural network, we append the trigger set, which is the list of watermark documents to the trained data. Uh, and then we train our model with this combined training data. During the training step, the DNN tries to learn the labels of the correct samples along with memorizing watermark documents. Uh, all right, in a, in a verification, phases, uh, verification phase, we verify the ownership of a remote trained model. It means if an adversary create a surrogate model without our permission and provide an online API to service other users, we can verify the ownership of that model by an strategy. Uh, to do this, we send all watermarked documents to the remote API and check the prediction labels. Also, we send all these documents to, uh, to, 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 uh, to a model without, uh, uh, what, uh, without watermarking uh, without watermarking. If the predicted labels for the watermark documents are the same as the exchanged label and also predicted labels for original documents before word exchanging are the same as the ground truth label, we can state that the remote model is a surrogate model. 
Uh, for evaluating of uh, of the proposed uh, method, we use two well-known text classification data sets. We choose IMDB users review, uh, reviews uh, for the um, uh, polarity detection task and hand span data set for span detection. Both data sets are part of the Kegel competition. You can see their characteristic on the top table. As you can see, the IMDB data set has a two classes. Uh, and uh, 15,000 records, which is divided uh, to 25,000 positive document and 25,000 negative document. And also Hamistan dataset also has a two classes with uh, 5,728 uh, uh, records, which uh, divided to uh, 400, uh, uh, 4,360 ham. Uh, samples and 1,368 uh, documents in a, a spam classes. Uh, the DNN uh, model, the DNN, uh, the deep neural network that we uh, use is a LSTM of a fast AI library, uh, which pre-trained with a Wikipedia dataset. A number of trigger set uh, for IMDB is 200 samples and for Hamaspam is 100 sample due to their uh, size. Uh, okay, so for analyzing the effect of uh, word selection strategy, we show the fidelity and reliability score of them. As you can see in the fidelity chart, both strategy have a, a negligible effect on the model accuracy. In uh, re reliability chart, when we exchange word with a low TFIDF score, it yields minimal false negative in watermark extraction. But when we exchange the words with a high TFIDF score, the watermark extraction accuracy is very low. It's because the latent feature extracted from DNN are correlated with these type of words. So the word with the high TFIDF score have a deniable role in extracting features. Okay, these two charts shows the accuracy of a DNN uh, model before and after embedding a watermark. In IMDB dataset, we can see that embedding watermark did not impair the performance of the original model. In Hammerspan dataset, uh, embedding uh, watermark not only uh, did, uh, did not impair the performance of a spam detection, but also improve the accuracy of the spam detection. This, uh, this, this is because uh, the size of the data set is small and uh, watermarked example are a notable uh, fraction of the training data. Uh, this slide shows uh, the train and validation loss before and after embedding watermark. As you can see, the difference between uh, before and after inserting watermark are in, insignificant in uh, training and uh, validation phase. Uh, for measuring the uh, reliability of the watermark model, we send all trigger set samples to the watermark model and save their responses. Uh, the accuracy of a written prediction are shown in a top left table. As you can see, our method uh, can extract trigger set samples from watermark model accuracy. accuracy. Uh, for more uh, evaluation, we present the com uh, confusion matrix of uh, this extraction for two data sets. As we can see in this table, uh, our model has some problems in detecting modify sam uh, spam sample. The number of spam samples in the ham spam is small, and also it's lower than the ham, uh, ham samples. Uh, so our train model did not learn with uh, enough data. Also, the number of trigger set sample is a high in comparison to the data set site. So our model is faced with some wrong data. But as you can see, uh, the, 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 the accuracy of uh, watermark extraction is uh, acceptable, is 85 for Hamaspan dataset. 
Okay, uh, in this webinar, we show that uh, how to apply the digital watermarking concept into the textual deep neural networks. Uh, we, pres uh, we present the proposed approach to protect a textual deep neural network against uh, copyright infringement and authorize uh, and an uh, an unauthorized uh, redistribution. Uh, the proposed method did not decrease the performance of the original task. Also, a watermark has been extracted from the uh, watermark model uh, accurately. Uh, thank you for your attention. Well, thank you very much.